The total value of cryptocurrency stolen and sent to illicit wallet addresses around the world rose by nearly 80%, from 7.8 billion in 2020 to 14 billion in 2021. Money laundering is one of the key charges made by the Enforcement Directorate ED, against crypto exchange Vazirix. The ED isn't the first agency to level such allegations against a crypto platform, despite blockchain's inherent property of traceability. In this video, we will look at how money laundering occurs on blockchain, despite the fact that transactions on it are always traceable. Most courts and law enforcement bodies around the world have recognized their immutable nature and accept blockchain records as legal proof of transaction histories. However, crypto transactions can sometimes happen off-chain, or other methods can be used to obfuscate the flow of funds. Moreover, blockchains are like conveyor belts, which facilitate the flow of crypto from one wallet to another. The identity of the person who holds that wallet has to be ascertained by the wallet service provider, and this is often not done to protect user privacy. One of the most common methods used by hackers and criminals is called mixing or tumbler. As each crypto token is traceable, tumblers break down multiple tokens from different blockchains and mix them. They then transfer the original amount to the owner, but through multiple transactions and from multiple wallets, obscuring the trail. Illicit users also transfer traceable tokens to privacy-centric blockchains such as Monero, which hide wallet addresses and particulars. There are also over-the-counter brokers who accept payments in any form, including cash, and transfer the equivalent amount in crypto to a user's wallet. Among other things, the ED claims that Vazirex's holding company, Zanme Labs Private Limited, is offering contradictory and ambiguous answers about crypto-to-crypto -crypto transactions made on Vazirex. The ED said Vazirex had failed to provide data and show transactions on its blockchain for purchases made by numerous under-investigation fintech firms. When users withdraw crypto from an exchange, they enter a wallet address and the tokens are transferred, with the record being maintained on the blockchain. However, they also have to pay a gas fee, which is used to pay miners on the blockchain. To avoid this fee, two platforms can integrate with each other and allow users to transfer crypto without using the blockchain. Such transactions can raise questions regarding the tracing of money, as the records are not maintained on the blockchain. Exchanges could adopt a resolution on KYC data and maintain transaction logs for 8 to 10 years on blockchain, said industry stakeholders. Triveni Singh, Superintendent of Police, Cybercrime, Uttar Pradesh Police said, the use of KYC-compliant wallets could help add a layer of traceability. However, KYC norms for wallets held on platforms outside India can differ from those in India. Some blockchain research firms are also working on machine learning-based tools that can flag illicit accounts.